it's very important to sh uh, to share it, mm -hmm. but also deepen it, in the sense that this, I really think this is very political uh, study, because this day society really wants to take you away from and hide it from you, this healing capacities which we have. So I think it's very important to to develop your knowledge about it, to keep your life in your own hands and not body and mind? Yes, integrating the body and mind, but also uh, be, not be slave of the system and the doctors who, never, who send you from one place to another, but just be your own doctor. And to listen to your... Body. body and also to prevent how to live your life to prevent the sicknesses. So is this I, the most important thing in life? I think the health is the most important, is the base because after this you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are the most rich when you when you are healthy. And many times we forget about it, complaining about the weather, yeah, yeah, yeah. complaining about other things. But we are so lucky. We are not in the wheelchair. We can do other things. And, and Many times we forgot about this beauty, which is unrealized. So you are a yoga teacher yes. and a yoga student. I, I normally I am the shiatsu master therapist and, and the teacher. It's a Japanese style of the therapy, acupressure. Okay. Okay. And uh, I am finishing fourth year of my uh, teacher training education for okido yoga study. Okay. And uh, I felt that very important for me. Uh, to pay lots of money for this education yeah. and being able to share it with the underground because I find it very not fair that for one massage, one treatment you have to pay almost 50 euro yeah. and I think all the people who choose to live on a low income should have access to such a knowledge or actually our children should learn in school how to breathe how to be uh, touch each other, how to balance and feel our block, uh, emotional or physical or mental uh, uh, blockages. I think this way the world will be a much, much more beautiful place to be. And I wish, uh, I wish will be this way. You especially want to give this information, this knowledge to the underground people because, yes, because they never have a chance. Because I grew up uh, in the, I would say, I grew up, I came to Amsterdam 15 years ago. Yeah. And I have a lot of support by the squatters because yeah. I was uh, pregnant in that time. Okay. And uh, after uh, my child was a little bit bigger, I started to study this. And now I feel uh, my own development is, is the way to say thank you for all this energy I've been receiving to be the person who I am now. So it's not only the squatters, it's also the free techno movement, it's also circus, it's also the music, politics. <laughs> It's all things which they influence me and inspire me to be the person who I am now. This is your thank you, your, your present back. Yeah, to everyone who, uh, who likes to receive it. Yeah, yeah, and who, yeah. So it's uh, interesting also the, the mix with uh, maybe break dance also. Or Can you break dance? It? Yeah, I take all the lessons also and I also organize workshops. In break dance? Yeah, so I mean, your, your, your whole yeah, working we, life is movement? Yes. I, wo I organize also lots of workshops for you and for the people in our ages, yeah. like breakdance or graffiti, aerosol art workshops, um, self-defense, uh, trophies. So actually, uh, in the Overton, busy how to develop let's say, a movement academy, yeah. where actually all these disciplines can come together and actually surprise themselves that all of us study the same principles. And do you hold it in the underground or also on uh, high schools? Or uh, also in the north. Sometimes we get uh, also a uh, possibility to work in schools with the children. So then, for example, kids have one week uh, no school, but the subject is, for example, learning languages through playful way. And then we go there with ten instructors. Yeah. Everybody can speak maybe different language and we teach them different disciplines. My classroom is not in my classroom only. I try to train when I'm waiting for the tram or when I'm walking in the night coming back from the party. I have my headphones, I can find that window from the shopping center. I don't have to pay for using this space. I can train my moves, uh, you know, so it's not always. Uh, I don't want it to lock myself in the cage. I, I have one life. I don't know how long it lasts, so every you. day morning I wake up, it's one more day to leave.